Hey friends, today I wanted to point out the awesome similarities between the rapture of the church, the bride of Christ, and a Jewish wedding. As I go through this, just notice the, in, notice the striking similarities that we see in Scripture and how it is proof of a pre-tribulational rapture. So, starting off, there's an interesting parallel between a Jewish wedding and the rapture. Only a pre-tribulation rapture will fit into this scenario. Three groups of people were present at every Jewish wedding. The groom, the bride, and the invited guests. Three groups of people will also be involved in the marriage of the Lamb. The groom, number one. This is none other than Jesus Christ, who is the, who is the um, husband of the wife. Also the bride, which is symbolizing the church in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2, in Ephesians 5, and Revelation 21. And then there are the guests. These are the people saved after the rapture, according to Matthew 25, the wise and foolish virgins. Some people have mistakenly interpreted the ten virgins as the church. However, these are the guests invited to the wedding feast and not the bride. Now, there are three aspects of the Jewish wedding. Um, there are three aspects of the Jewish wedding, and it's the same is true with the marriage of the Lamb. Number one is the wedding contract, which is called the betrothal. This is when a person is saved. It also says in Ephesians chapter 1 that we are sealed with the promised Holy Spirit until the purchase possession, which is a, a sign kind of like if you were to give um, your fiance, um, you know, a, an engagement ring. The Holy Spirit is our deposit guaranteeing our inheritance or salvation. So it is a wedding contract the minute we're saved, our betrothal to Christ. It also says that the wedding ceremony, number two, is when the groom receives the bride. This is the rapture. Revelation 19, verse 7 literally reads, The marriage of the Lamb came, and his wife prepared herself. The wedding already occurred in heaven at the rapture, and now the Lamb and the church are about to return to the earth for the wedding feast. This parallels what Jesus said in Luke 12, verse 36, which says, And be like men who are waiting for their master when he returns from the wedding. It should read wedding, not wedding feast, as some versions say. Why would someone wait after the wedding feast when the celebration is over? Number three, the wedding feast. Guests are invited to the celebration. This is the second coming. Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. A bride is not invited to her own wedding. The church was married to Christ at the rapture, and the wedding feast will occur on earth after the second coming. Those people saved after the rapture, will be invited to participate in the wedding feast. Here's one more thought to ponder. Three times of redemption. Redemption means to purchase. When a person receives Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, his or her spirit is redeemed at that time. At the rapture, the person's body will be redeemed through resurrection. At the second coming, Jesus will return to the Mount of Olives to redeem the earth. The earth has been under a curse since the fall of Adam and Eve, and Jesus will lift the curse when he sets up his kingdom on earth. So, we see here, you were saved by believing and receiving Jesus Christ. Your spirit is redeemed. At the rapture, Jesus will redeem your body. And at the second coming, Jesus will redeem the earth, which will take away the curse. And the thousand-year millennial reign in which the church, the Old Testament saints, and the redeemed out of the tribulation will rule and reign with Christ. And that will be a glorious time in which God's kingdom surely will come and his will will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. I wanted to continue to uh, encourage everybody to believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. Again, the church is not destined to wrath but salvation. And there's no purpose for the bride to go through the tribulation because it is called Jacob's trouble. I will include here another uh, graph for you to look at. God bless.